Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog from Milan. I can't wait to show you today some traditional Italian cafes because I have some things to do outside. So the cafes are open now so I have been craving a nice flat white or pumpkin spice latte for such a long long time. I haven't had a nice cup of coffee outside um, since March last year so now is a perfect opportunity for me to take you for a cup of coffee. Then we are going to go to Chanel's store because Chanel have new lipsticks and these are the Le Lyon lipsticks which I'm planning to swatch. I want to swatch all of the colors and to show you all of the colors. Now let's go ahead and go out. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I love talking about luxury, beauty and fragrances and occasionally I like to take you with me for a walk in Milan. If you haven't watched my very first vlog, I'm going to have a link in the description box. Please make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. This helps a lot my channel. Thank you in advance. So here we are at San Babila, Piazza San Babila, and I want to show you around a little bit before we go to have coffee because it's raining and I have a little bit of time. I have to meet my boyfriend and the love of my life. And while I'm waiting, I thought that this is going to be an excellent opportunity for me to show you a little bit. So we are now at... Um, Piazza San Babila and usually here you're going to have a lot of tourists and this is a very iconic place this is one of the famous places in Milan's city center and it's very close to the iconic Monte Napoleone street where you're going to find all of the high-end um, fashion houses like um, Chanel, like Louis Vuitton, Hermes and all of these and I'm going to show you this some other day and now I want to take a walk around and um, on Corso Vittorio Emanuele and this is a very important shopping street in Milan where you're going to find the biggest Sephora in Milan I'm going to show you also Sephora in a minute but let's walk a little bit here and here is Victoria's Secret. Um, there is a store of Victoria's Secret. I don't know, guys. Who is Victoria's? I don't know. Anyways, so let's keep walking here on Corso Vittorio Emanuele. And this is actually one of the most important shopping streets in Milan. There are a lot of stores here that are not high-end. And look at this beautiful building. So when you're in Italy, you can basically look around yourself and find all these kinds of old, beautiful buildings and architecture. It's, there is so much history in Italy and in Europe as a whole. So you can find, let's go ahead and do some window shopping. I love window shopping, you guys. And this street is actually where you can find quite affordable shops with really good and high quality fashion. So you don't have the high-end shops are not here but they are somehow in the mid somewhere in the middle so let's do some window shopping while i'm walking in the rain and today the shops are not open because it's a non-working day and the streets are very empty because we don't have any tourists so and you can see the cathedral up there on the right and down is the piazza san babila so there are a lot of places that I want to show you in my future vlogs, but today it's very rainy and my camera is not. So I found a hat that I really like and I'm going to show it to you now. And this is the black hat. I love a good stylish hat. Now let me go ahead and zoom. So this is the hat. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Like I'm not... I'm not attracted to the outfit, it looks good, but definitely the hat attracts me very much and also this black trench here. Unfortunately, this shop is not open, so let's keep walking. So this is the Sephora and this is the biggest Sephora in Milan. It doesn't look big, I know that here it it doesn't look like it's big but it's actually big because there are three floors and it's actually very close to the cathedral so on the right here you can see parts of the cathedral and yeah I just want to show you around because it's really beautiful So 
so Sephora is behind me actually. And now I wanted to show you a very interesting mini, like a mini van, like a mini autobus or something. I don't know how to call it exactly um, in English, but this is this one. So you're going to see this a lot in Italy and they sell kind of breakfast, they sell some snacks and they sell also water and refreshments and also gelato. And I don't eat here, but if you're hungry, you can eat. And actually the panino, the sandwiches that they are going to offer are really, really good. They are quite good. And these are very common in Italy. And I like sometimes to get gelato from these um, ice cream because the ice cream is really good. In Italy, it doesn't matter where you're going to get your ice cream. It's always good. So I had to go inside the metro because I wanted to show you this fabulous view and this is the metro station Cordusio and if you're taking the metro, if you're in Milan and taking the metro, you have to stop here to go to Starbucks and I just, this is one of my favorite metro stations sometimes i'll just go inside the metro so that i can have this beautiful view as i go up the escalator and that's what i wanted to show you here so this is the building of the old post office which is now starbucks reserved roastery and they roast the coffee here so i'm going to go inside to have a nice cup of coffee which i have been craving for almost a year now because I didn't have coffee from Starbucks since um, March last year but first of all I wanted to show you the building and also I'm going to buy some croissants to go and then I'm going to show you the croissants as we go home um, but I wanted to show you the building and Starbucks was opened in September 2018 and I still remember the long lines that we had in front of Starbucks so a lot of them old Italians were not happy with the idea of American coffee opening in Milan because Italians they really cherish the traditions and they really cherish the very small cafes and you go every morning you have your croissant you have your nice short shot of espresso and when Starbucks opened a lot of people were afraid that you know they are not cherishing the traditions and this American company is coming here but the management of Starbucks actually did a great job because I'm going to show you uh, quickly as we go inside they actually have they actually managed to preserve the Italian traditions and somehow combine this also with the American heritage of Starbucks so I think that the final result was a really really good coffee shop so here we are inside the starbucks reserved roastery and here on the left is the italian bar where you're going to have the traditional um, italian coffee it's all traditional italian coffee you guys the management did such an amazing job here and then in front is the machine where the coffee is roasted and then on the right there is the American bar and there you can get flat white and all the lattes and all the kind different kinds of American special coffees and this is my favorite place that's where I go to get my pumpkin spice latte and to get my favorite flat white and here they have the best pastries. They are traditional Italian pastries and croissants and the food is just outstanding. And everything is freshly baked and everything smells amazing in this Starbucks. So I would say that the management did such a great job here because yes it is kind of a starbucks but a different kind of starbucks this is the italian starbucks which is quite unique and they did preserve the italian traditions um, and everything everything has the italian touch here um, and and here we have my cup of coffee and also i took some croissants and i'm gonna do a quick 
I'm gonna show you quickly around and then we are going out and I'm gonna keep walking in Milan. So here is basically where the coffee is roasted. So what's unique about this um, roastery is that you can enjoy a nice cup of coffee and you can see how the coffee is roasted. So I don't know if there is something similar in the world. Let me know guys. But I think this this place is quite unique and the stuff is always so nice and so friendly. And if you go there, they are actually going to explain you about how the coffee is roasted and check this out. <laughs> The coffee just came out and I was not planning this but I'm so happy that it happened so that I can show you actually the coffee and it's a unique coffee experience so if you and when you visit Milan one day definitely this should be one of your first stops here because this place is quite unique. And finally I have my favorite flat white with a special Christmas blend coffee and they only have this Christmas blend coffee around Christmas and this is my favorite coffee in the world like this is the most the most the most amazing coffee which now I'm going to take some time and enjoy And I also got some croissants to go and I'm so happy. Okay, so now that I had my flat white, I'm ready for Chanel's boutique and I'm going to swatch the new Lilion lipsticks and I'm going to see if they have something new. And I wanted to show you this store. This is Bialetti. I think that you have this store also in the US. It's like a coffee dedicated store and Italians take coffee very seriously. It's almost like a religion here. So we are close to the cathedral now. I showed you actually last time in my previous vlog. So if you haven't watched that, I'm going to have a link. So how beautiful is the cathedral? And I wanted to show you one of the famous um, coffee cafes in Milan. And this is this one. This is the Bar Duomo. And you have beautiful view of the cathedral and this cafe is usually full of tourists because they want to have the beautiful view of the cathedral and you can never get a place in this coffee because it's it's literally full like people are waiting to sit in this cafe normally right now there are no people because i mean and also the weather is not that good 
but how cute is that cafe? I always wanted to sit here and have a nice cup of coffee. So maybe one of these days I'm going to come here and sit because usually there are never places. And right now they are taking down the Christmas tree. Alright guys, so I'm back and it's really dark outside, it's very rainy um, and yeah, it's almost dark even though it's like the late afternoon. Okay guys, so to make a nice cappuccino or flat white or any other kind of special coffee, you are going to need either to have a coffee machine, but if you don't have, I'm going to show you an alternative way. Um, so anyways, you either need this co a coffee machine, sorry I just made the coffee, haven't cleaned still this. So you either need this tool to froth the milk and to make the milk foamy and nice, or the other option is going to be so the other so the other option is going to be to get a French press which is it looks like this it's a little bit dark guys because it's um, like late in the evening uh, we're gonna co make coffee late in the evening and I'm gonna show you actually you can get these from anywhere they are quite cheap and this is a French press for coffee but you can use it also to froth the milk and to make the milk foamy so that you can make all your favorite um, coffee drinks and you can have that really gorgeous foam so you're gonna need hot milk, so the milk should be hot but it shouldn't be boiling because if the milk is boiling then it's not gonna taste good. So you're gonna put the milk here. I don't use too much milk so you can use as much as you want and now you're just gonna go up and down but quickly and you're gonna froth the milk. So it's going to take you less than a minute to have a nice and foamy milk. I'm just going to leave this here and I'm going to do a mess. So now what you want to do is you want to just tap it a little bit so that you can break the bigger bubbles and you end up having this really very creamy and very finely, finely frotted milk. And we have the coffee here and then you can even make, learn and make picture if you want to. But we can just, here we go. And there you have it. Okay, and that's really all that you need and it's very foamy, it's a real Italian cappuccino and you can make it as intense as you like. So here if the end was a little bit sharper I was even going to be able to make a beautiful picture just like they do in Starbucks so you just have to kind of shake your hand uh, but I don't have this kind of tool right now but maybe one day I'm going to show you also how to make a beautiful picture here um, and how to make a flower or something like this. So there we have it our Italian cappuccino. Well, I'm doing this with one hand, but you can always put something, oops, on top. All right, and we just made this even fancier. So homemade breakfast is ready um, and I'm really sorry that it's so dark here. These are my favorites. So this is empty, this basically doesn't have any feeling and this one is with um, raspberry, this one is with chocolate and this one is brioche, again with chocolate. So if you go to Starbucks and if you want this croissant, so this is called cornetto and this one is brioche. Thank you. 
I was so happy that I was able to make swatches of all colors from the new Le Leon lipsticks from Chanel. And unfortunately, I started editing my video and I found out that the swatches are actually not good quality because the lighting in the store was not the best. So tomorrow I will have to go again to Chanel's store and I will have to do the swatches once again because I'm not happy with the quality. You know guys that I... I pay attention to the quality of the footage that I show you and I really like to show you the swatches as they are and I put a lot of effort in my videos. So even when something like this happens, I prefer to film once again and tomorrow I'm going to go again at Chanel store. I'm going to do the swatches once again and I'm going to go out and try and get the best possible lighting to really show you the swatches of the lipsticks because I know that a lot of you are not able to go out and a lot of you are not going to be able to go in store and see how all of the colors look so I really do my best to give you the best possible swatches and I prefer not to put up a video if it's not the best quality and I don't do color correction to my videos because I feel like when I do color correction or if I if I mess up with the colors in my videos, you're not going to get the full realistic experience of how the colors look. And I want to show you the products from a consumer point of view. I want to show you how really the products look. So even if I have to put some extra hours of work, it's still worth it for me because you are such an amazing community and I really, really do my best to give you the best shots. Um, so I'm a little disappointed today because I couldn't do the swatches. I was hoping that I was going to edit the video tonight and post it early in the morning, but this didn't happen. So anyways, tomorrow we go again. So I was able to get this new powder from Becca and this is Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil Powder and this is number one. I'm gonna show you how it looks. I know that Becca has beautiful highlighters and I'm not going to be trying this now. So I was planning to try this now together with you but I'm going to try this another day because I need to take some photos for my blog before ruining the patterns so I just have to take some photos of this powder but it looks quite interesting light shifter I don't know it looks like a luminous powder to me let me just swatch it and it it doesn't swatch actually it looks completely invisible so I'm very interested to try this powder and here is the Chanel lipstick that I got and I've picked the color 257 so I'm gonna have a video dedicated to this lipsticks probably it's going to be even before the vlog so I picked this classic Chanel color um, this classic red color sorry guys I'm really tired today because somehow when I film outside um, I tend to be tired so I tried this um, on my lips right after I came back so it looks a little bit more sheer than it is um, in reality because right now I had um, lip gloss on my lips and I applied this lipstick on top of my gloss, but it's a good lipstick. So what do you think? I probably should apply a little makeup actually with this red lip, but anyways, um, you get the idea. I'm very happy because I actually got, um, I got another lipstick also from Chanel. So this one is the Le Rouge Du, one of the long lasting, lasting lipsticks from Chanel. I really liked the color and I wanted to get this. So this is 172 Light Mauve and pretty color. Let's go ahead and swatch this together. I think these are very good. Um, I think that these are very good, very suitable for now when we are all wearing masks. But look how pretty this color looks. So that's something that I got. And let me go ahead and swatch this. That's a very, very pretty color for the spring season. Okay, so here we go. This is the color and look how pretty this looks for the spring season. I think it's going to be perfect. Like how gorgeous is this? Should I try it on my lips? We're going to see. No, I have the red lip today, but... 
So I'm not sure how this is going to look on me, but I hope that it's going to look nice because it looks so pretty. I don't know. I, when I swatched it, I just have fallen in love. And I have a surprise. Thanks to my amazing Chanel consultant, I am going to be able to try the new Chanel Sublimage Night Concentrate Serum, the one that's 800 US dollars, which is such an insane price. And I have a couple of samples of this. Um, I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you actually, I this one like i have a couple of these and I, and I have also the sublimage lotion so these look like this so that's how they look and this is like the latest chanel release the latest skincare release from chanel and it's 800 us dollars for 30 ml which is like is it one fluid ounce i'm not sure i'm going to write here i mean 800 us dollars I'm really excited to try this, this now, um, very, very excited. And of course, as always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on these products. Um, 800 US dollars, you really have to be rich to be able to afford 800 US dollars for a night serum. Um, <laughs> for a night serum, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Um, to be honest, I really like some of the products from the Sublimash line, like for example, the Sublimash Fine Cream is one of my favorite face creams. I really like it, even though um, the skincare bloggers and skincare YouTubers are usually going to tell you that this is way overpriced and it doesn't contain antioxidants and ingredients and blah 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 and stuff like this. I like to be honest, you guys. Yes, they are overpriced, but there are some there are some good products, even from the pricey brands. Which you know, we all know the website Paula's Choice who literally says that and anything that is not Paola's choice <laughs> is a bad formulation. Well, sometimes these brands are working for many years to develop a product and they are not all bad, you know. Um, I have a lot of favorites from the really high-end and pricey products. The issue is that no, not everyone can afford them and also there are cheaper, cheaper alternatives to these products. So my mission and my idea is to show you and to give you honest opinions on products, the expensive ones, the non-expensive ones. Anyways, okay, so enough with my rumble. And in this video, probably I'm going to combine footage from different days in Milan. So I hope that you enjoyed walking with me in Milan. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And look what a beautiful day it is in Milan. So today I'm going to do the swatches once again and I'm going to Chanel's store. Hopefully this time I'm going to have better quality of the swatches. I'm definitely going to do the swatches outside of the store. Oh my goodness, I spy with my little eye. Pink lovers, here we have an alert. Look what we have here. What a beautiful pink cake. Who is coming? I got hungry looking at this pink cake, to be honest. And they sell lovely croissants there, so probably I'm gonna go back and take a croissant. And here we have it, guys. Chanel's Boutique. Time for swatching. And I think this is going to be the end of my second vlog and let's take a closer look at the menu. I'm really hungry now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so this was this was going to be the end of my second vlog. I'm only going to show you the cafe that I show you close to Duomo yesterday because now it's full of people because the weather is beautiful and there are no tourists so a lot of people are able to enjoy a nice cup of coffee and a beautiful view of the cathedral. And there is the coffee, the cafe.